So today we take a look at one of the eight new Mayhem 2.0 level 6 or above exclusive legendaries and it's a new Maliwan SMG, but is it any good? How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the DNA, the new Maliwan SMG is an exclusive drop to General Tront upon Desolation's Edge and can drop in a few different variants, all offering, well, an all-in-one elemental setup. That's because this thing's party trick, it shoots two bursts of random elemental shots, which can be any of the elements the game offers. So this Mayhem 10 variant we can see on paper isn't the most powerful, but it for sure ain't the weakest SMG in the game. Now the thing about Mario SMGs in Borderlands 3 is they're either amazing or not so amazing. And those amazing ones are rare. The Cutsman is definitely amazing. The Kibbs Worth people would argue is amazing. In my opinion, the Tsunami is an underrated, amazing weapon. But there ain't many others I can think of that I'd say that are that great. So what about this? How would I rate it? Well, first we're looking at the way it performs. You'd argue that it's trying its hardest to be a hybrid of the Tsunami with those random elements, as well as the Cutsman with its projectiles and how they are kind of similar, just a smaller version of those what we see from the Cutsman. But here they shoot at some weird angles. So going back to this on paper, we see it rocks a small magazine size and does consume two ammo per shot. So even though it has a slow fire rate, it still gets through its mags quite quick. And if I'm honest with you guys, after using it for a few hours now, trying to mix up my build to suit this weapon, I'm gonna tell you straight, I don't rate this thing at all. In my opinion, it just can't make its mind up on what it wants to be. I mean, I can see potential in an elemental build, but besides that, it offers nothing to you. The problem it has is the fact that it doesn't fire a single element, which I know sounds bizarre, but for the most part playing this game, we pick weapons and elements to match that what we're going into. The problem with this is the fact you don't actually know what you are getting. And when you do see that spark of extra damage due to the element being right, it disappears as soon as you see it. And this just makes to it, in my opinion, being a super inconsistent weapon. I mean, the gameplay you can see in the background now, playing on Mayhem 10, yes, but it's struggling against, in my opinion, what are basic enemies, which isn't good at all. And what's worse about this is, this same build usually takes even the worst weapons and makes them look semi-decent. So it isn't good here. So yeah, people, as much as this weapon seems decent on paper, and I know its party trick seems unique, it actually, in my opinion, is the weapon's downfall. If this weapon constantly fired a certain element, but had random additions of other elements thrown in, it would be a great, great weapon. It'd be an incredible weapon. I'd rate it with the best Maliwan SMGs in this game, but I'm afraid it doesn't work like that. So in my opinion, it joins the list of Maliwan SMGs, which are just not good enough. But hey guys, if your opinion differs, let me know why and let me know the setup you're using this with. But yeah, that is my opinion on the DNA. An exclusive drop on Mayhem 6 or above. I will say though, this is well, it was super rare for me. I mean, I must have killed this dude about 40 times before seeing any variant drop. Now, I'd say it isn't worth your time trying to get if you ain't got it already. But if you see a sparkle of hope within this weapon, you know where to get it. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Well guys, thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.